Jim with G Money Strong Outdoors. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about how we're doing the custom thumbnails for our videos. So I figured we'd just go ahead and do a tutorial video and just show you what our process is for that. Um, I'm not saying that this is the only way to do it, I'm not saying it's the best way to do it, but it's what we're doing and it's working. Um, it's a, using custom thumbnails is a great way to get more clicks, get that CTR rate up. Uh, and get more engagement in your videos. You, know, you want to make your thumbnails pop. You want to make them stand out from uh, everything else that people are scrolling through. So this is what we're doing and hopefully you get something you can use out of it. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that button. We have lots and lots of new adventures coming and we're excited to share it with you. I hope you come along. All right, so I bring all of our pictures in through Lightroom and I try to shoot pictures underexposed if anything so that we're not blowing highlights as you can see here it's pretty dark um, and we're gonna go ahead and fix that there we go we just bring the light up and then we make some adjustments to the picture changing some of the contrasts and taking the shadows out of it to try to bring those uh, bring those dark areas back and then we bring the whites down a little bit just so we're not blowing the highlights again here we're just warming the temperature up a little bit. What I'm trying to do is make the picture really extra vibrant so it, uh, it draws attention and it stands out from pictures around it. So we've increased the saturation there and uh, brought the luminance down. So here we are just dehazing it some and really trying to make those colors pop off the screen. Uh, and then I always just uh, take the noise out of the picture at the end here and that's pretty much it for editing that background picture. So we're just gonna go ahead now and save that as a JPEG. And that's going to be the background image we use for our thumbnail. All right, next step is we're going to edit the picture we're using as the subject of the thumbnail in Photoshop. So I'm going to take this picture here and I'm going to crop it out. I'm going to clear the background. So all we have left is Garrett and the fish here. So the way we're going to do that is using the uh, freeform select tool over on the, uh, the toolbar on the left side. And as you can see, this area right here is what I want to keep. So I just take that, uh, that selection tool and then I'm going to adjust the size. Um, it's really small right now, so I can bump it up a little bit. Um, don't want to get too big otherwise you're going to start bringing too much stuff in as you do it so that looks about good there and you're just going to click and hold and drag through the area that you want to highlight so I'm getting all that it's nice clean edges on my uh, my picture here so it's not too hard to grab everything that I want and if you get something extra you can always just do a lasso tool and take it out so I got a little extra here down by the bottom, and that's fine. So after I have it selected, we're going to go up to the tab at the top, the select, and we're going to inverse it. So now we have everything except the subject highlighted right now. And we go into our layer tools, and we're going to unlock that layer. And once it's unlocked, we can go ahead and just delete the background. So like I said, there's a little bit left around the bottom that we're going to do a free form and get rid of. So to do that, right down there, I'm going to zoom in on it. And then we're going to use the lasso tool so we can do a free form select. And just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just get pretty close to those edges that I want and cut that out. So I go off the screen, come back in. And then we just close out this first area right here. And same thing, we can just delete it and then deselect and go back and do another lasso tool to get this little area right here. Deselect again. And then this one last area at the bottom and that's going to, that'll do it. This was a pretty easy one to get the subject looking the way I wanted it to. So once all that is cleaned up, we can go ahead and zoom out. And that is 
the subject. So now I'm going to save that as a PNG file, which lets you maintain that clear background. So we just select PNG from the drop down list, and we're going to go ahead and save that one. Next up, I'm going to create an outer glow effect on part of that subject. So I'm going to take the fish here and I'm going to isolate it by itself and then create this outer glow. So that's going to really make that subject pop even more. So I just use the PNG file that we just created and do the same thing. Again, I'm going to select what I want to keep, which is just the fish in this case. So I'm just using that selection tool to grab all the area that I want to maintain. So pretty easy right there, got it all. And I'm going to inverse the selection again. And then the layer's already unlocked. So I can go ahead and just delete the background. So now I have the subject isolated that I want to do the outer glow. So in the layer tools, I'm going to go into the effects over there and I'm going to select the outer glow. And I'll drag this out of the way so you can kind of see what's going on. And you have a lot of different options there. You can change so many different things here with the colors and the size and the spread of it. So just tinker around with it a little bit, find what works. Let me take that down a little bit and then change this. Just don't want it to be overwhelming, but want it to draw attention. That looks pretty good, maybe a little bit more size to it. And we're gonna go ahead and save this as its own file name. And we're gonna take that and lay it over the other picture in the thumbnail. And that's gonna give us that extra attention to the subject. So now that we have all our pictures ready to go, I'm gonna go to photojet.com and select the YouTube thumbnail template and as you can see, it brings up uh, a canvas here that has some different templates you can start from. But we're going to go over to Photos and bring in the stuff that we just edited to make our own custom thumbnail. So first we're going to get that background image. And then we'll go back through and get those PNG images that have the clear background that we're going to lay over that. So we're going to bring both of them, the one with uh, both Gary and the fish, and then the fish with the highlight around it and pull them in. So now what I want to do is take those in the order that I want them layered over into the picture. So the background first and then the second and then the final subject last. And you can change the order that these pictures are layered um, just by clicking on them and, and messing with the layers there. But right now they're where they want to be. So I'm going to stretch them out and get this canvas filled up. Move that background around, get it where we want it. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna take our subject and move it and get it sized correctly as well. And like I said, if it's not layering in the right order, you can change that with your pictures and, and put it where you want it. So that's pretty good there. And now I'm gonna take that highlighted picture and stretch it out to the right size and you have a little bit of play when it comes to that considering you have this highlighted edges but size are pretty close to what you want and then drop it right on top and there you go so that's the, the pictures looking pretty good and now we're just going to add some simple text to it over in the blank space we left over on the side and you don't want to add too much text here uh, just enough that as somebody's scrolling through they can get the gist of what your video is uh, without it being too wordy. So I just try to sum it up in a few words here in nice big text that uh, that's going to jump out and be nice and visible. So I'm tying in words from the title that I'm going to use for the video and I'm just going to blow it up and make it fill that space. Move it around a little bit here. A little more space to fill there, so I'm just going to take it and stretch it a little more. Now I want to make that text really pop, so I'm going to take the glow effect and turn it on and make it 
stand out from the background a little more. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to take the text color now and you can just tweak it, make it whatever you want. Just something bright that really jumps out and that looks pretty good right there. So that's the first part. Now I'm going to grab the rest of the text right here in a different font. And this is the main part of the subject. So I'm trying to do that in its own font and make it kind of jump out on its own. I'm just going to stretch that out and try to fill that space that I've left for it. Just tweak it around a little bit. That looks about the right size. Move it down there. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other text, which is I'm going to change it to a color, see what works. I kind of like lighter colors because I think they jump a little more. That looks pretty good there. And then I'm going to do the outline and glow effects to make it stand out from the background around it. So that looks pretty good to stretch it out a little more, get it where I want it. So there we go for the text. And there's other tools you can use. Um, one of the things I like to do is in some of the clip art, you can add some stuff here. The simplest one I'll use sometimes is just an arrow. So we just select the arrow from the clip art and then you can just move it around, resize it the way you want it, take it and make a different color. So I'm gonna make it a nice bright yellow here, like our, our text. And then I can just take that arrow and rotate it around, stick it wherever I want. And then once I've got one, I'm gonna take it and clone it right here. And then I'm gonna take that one and, whoops, I'm going to move it and rotate it around to the other side of my subject. So this is just another way to draw the eye towards what you want to pop off of this picture. So there we go, just a couple arrows there and I think we're all set. At this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this thumbnail as a PNG. And you can do that right here for free on PhotoJet and we're all good to go. All right, so that's it in a nutshell. Um, you know, it's about a 10 minute process when it comes down to it to, to make that custom thumbnail, but it really draws more attention to that video as people are just scrolling through their feed and they see that, that picture that just jumps out at them. It has the, the nice clear text. It has the highlighted subject like that. And we've definitely seen, watching our analytics, the CTR is increasing as we're starting to get the, uh, the custom thumbnails involved in all these videos. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions, also let me know. Just uh, drop some comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video.